The Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife presents How to Fish for Trout in Oregon. Using floating baits can be an effective tool for chasing trout. What we're gonna do right now is break down how to put together your floating bait rig. And first, what we need to start with is our main line. So we take our main line off of our rod tip and we're going to put what's called a sliding sinker onto our main line first. These sliding sinkers have a hole that goes all the way through them. So we take our tag in, place it through the hole. So that way it's sliding on our main line here. Next, we're gonna take our swivel, just a normal barrel swivel here. Put our tag in through the eyelet. And then once again, tie our fisherman's knot. Five to seven wraps here. Do the loop, pull it tight, and then trim up the tag end. Less than a quarter inch here. Next, we're either gonna take a section off of our main line that we've done earlier, or using a leader spool, pull off anywhere from 12 to 24 inches of line. You're gonna use a longer leader in deeper water, or when you're around weed lines and big rocks, a shorter section of leader when you're close to shore and it's just fine gravel or sediment or sand on the bottom. The reason why is because the length of your leader will dictate how far off the bottom your bait will float. So again, around weed lines and big rocks, you're gonna want a longer leader to keep it away from all that structure. So what I'm gonna do right now, just because we're fishing along a weed line here, so I'm gonna cut about an 18 inch section. Here we are, nice short section of leader here. Once we've cut our section of leader, we're gonna grab the other end of our swivel that has nothing tied to it place our leader line through that eyelet, and again, tie our fisherman's knot. Pull it tight, and trim our tag end. There we go, now our leader's set. So we're gonna get to the end of our leader here, grab our size eight bait hook, and attach it using the fisherman's knot. Make our loop. Wrap five to seven times. Now pull it tight. Trim up our tag end one last time. Now it's time to apply the bait. There we go. Now with your sliding weight here, when you make your cast, you're gonna reel your line up tight. It's going to come tight to your swivel and your bait will float up off the bottom. When that fish bites, it won't feel any pressure whatsoever because the weight will be on the bottom and the fish will be able to pull your main line freely. You'll see that bite in your rod tip. There are two types of floating bait out there in the market that are used most commonly. There are your nugget style and what are called your dough baits. They both serve the same purpose. They both float. There are two ways to apply them. The nugget baits are typically easiest to put on your hook. Just pull one out, hold it gently in your hand, take the point of your hook, slide it right through the middle, then on up towards the eye of the hook, just like that. Very simple. With dough baits, it allows you to choose how big of a bait you actually want to use. Now you want to make sure to use just enough to make sure that your hook floats. So I'm going to take my finger, scoop out about the size of a dime here, and then I'm going to take my size eight bait hook, lay it on top of the bait, and just roll it around the hook. Essentially, we're just gonna make a dough ball out of the bait. Just like that. 